If you followed this channel for very long, then you know that F-Zero GX is one of my favorite video games of all time, and definitely my favorite racing game of all time as well. This fast-paced, adrenaline-pumping racing game was released on the Nintendo GameCube in 2003, and unfortunately, despite its high praise from fans and critics alike, it was the last F-Zero console game that we've ever got. It's been nearly two decades since, and I am still waiting and begging for a new release within the franchise. Unfortunately, Nintendo seems absolutely convinced that a new game wouldn't sell very well, and I can't say I necessarily blame them for thinking that, since GX wasn't exactly a big hit. With that being said, Captain Falcon has become one of Nintendo's most recognizable faces thanks to his longtime presence in the Smash Bros. universe. And with the massive sales of the Nintendo Switch in comparison to the Nintendo GameCube, the chances of a successful launch are certainly much higher than they were in years past. So if Nintendo somehow felt compelled to give this fantastic IP another go, what kind of new F-Zero game would we be hoping for? Well, I for one certainly have some feelings about that, so let's get into them. Similar to franchises like Dark Souls and Ninja Gaiden, difficulty is an innate part of the F-Zero games as F-Zero GX especially was punishing, with such little error being tolerated at its blistering speed. The new F-Zero title shouldn't waver on either of these factors, the difficulty or the speed, as these crucial elements are what separates F-Zero from all other racing titles. Something else that is very needed is online play. We're yet to experience an F-Zero title with this feature built in. And although I'm sure that would be frustrating at times with Nintendo's lag-infested online service, it's definitely better than not having it be available at all. F-Zero games are known to be incredibly tense and require a tremendous amount of skill to navigate with precision at such unreal speeds. So naturally, the game promotes an extremely competitive experience, and one that needs to be shared online with others around the globe. As I alluded to earlier, the sales of the games have been consistently declining since the franchise's debut in 1990. So although I do think there is reason to believe that a new F-Zero title would sell well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to spice things up and try some new tricks to help garner interest. To be honest, I think Nintendo could learn a lot about developing their expansive universe by taking a page out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's playbook, what I mean by this is taking other more recognizable and established characters and using them to help prop up a less popular character who was trying to build their own following. An example of this would be to bring characters like Fox McCloud and Samus Aran to the raceway and not only have them as playable multiplayer characters, but even go as far as integrating them into the campaign story of the latest F-Zero. It's not that hard to envision, especially when you consider how F-Zero has already given a not-so-subtle nod to the Star Fox franchise when they introduced the character James McCloud, whose name, appearance, and vehicle all have a strong resemblance to Fox McCloud's deceased father. Can you imagine the level of hype if Nintendo revealed teaser footage on a Nintendo Direct of a new F-Zero title featuring these three iconic space warriors? guaranteed it would go viral instantly, and the Nintendo fanbase would be collectively buzzing until the day it drops. Speaking of the story, this has been something that has been severely lacking in past F-Zero titles. Not only are the details extremely convoluted, but the franchise has failed to establish important supporting characters to Captain Falcon, which is probably the main reason why he's the only playable F-Zero character to make it into the Smash Bros. universe. Sure, there is recognizable characters like Samurai Goro, Jody Summer, Blood Falcon, and Black Bull, but if you were to ask me which one of these characters was the most popular behind Captain Falcon, I honestly would have no idea who to answer with. The same can't be said about most of the other significant Nintendo IPs. Not only does the next F-Zero game need to have a less confusing story with an understandable end game in mind, but it needs to build up a few characters to become prominent and promotable faces of the franchise beyond just Captain Falcon. Other than that, there's not a ton I want to see changed in a new F-Zero title, and I am interested to hear your input in the comments below. Sadly, there's reason to believe that even if we got a new F-Zero title, it would be much different from the fantastic F-Zero GX. In an interview in 2007, Shigeru Miyamoto said that F-Zero's past collaborations with outside development houses turned out to be a disappointment for Nintendo. 
He also stated that, quote, consumers got very excited about the idea of those games, but the games themselves did not deliver. When Miyamoto made this comment, he must have been thinking specifically in terms of sales. Because if you ask the F-Zero fanbase, they're more than thrilled with the quality of the previous games. Regardless of the validity of Miyamoto's comment, the reality is that this is his perspective, which is a pretty damning consequence for the F-Zero style that we've seen so far. At this point, it's been nearly two decades since we saw the last game in the series, and unfortunately for us F-Zero fans, Gandalf summed it up pretty perfectly when he said, There never was much hope, just a fool's hope. So what do you guys think? Do you ever think we'll get a new F-Zero game, and if we do, what would you like to see in it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more Nintendo content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.